Okay, in this presentation, I'm going to begin by introducing the concept of action research. Then I'm going to talk about the Arca Mosaic model, and finally, I'm going to give a very brief example of a new piece of research which is based on the model. Okay, so to start with, what is action research? My definition for the Arca Mosaic model is ordinary people generating knowledge about their own lives and worlds, their lived experience. So why do action research? Why should people generate knowledge about their lives? Is it for themselves or is it to influence decision makers? In the Arc Mosaic model, it's both. Um, first of all, people are doing it for themselves because they want to create knowledge about their lived experience, about their world, and they want to communicate that knowledge to other people. Um, it's also beneficial for people to come together to make sense of their experience and to formalize that knowledge and to document it and communicate it. Uh, secondly, then, to influence decision makers. Well, yes, of course, we would all like to this research to influence decision makers. So how can we make, um, make this influential? How can it be credible? How can it be um, taken seriously? And the way to do this, I believe, is through the research methods that are used. And so the Arkham Mosaic model was very much invested in creating methods which um, could influence decision makers. When I carried out the, action, the Arkham Mosaic model ori originally, it was, um, it was a project which was run from November 2003 to June 2006, and it began with three small community groups. Um, they were doing a mosaic project, each independently from the other. And then as they came to the end of the project and they came to communicate their work, their findings, um, they, they ran exhibitions, they started to run programs with other, um, with children and with other adults. And um, and the the pro whole program began to expand within the community. These are just the pictures. First of all, I want to show you the pictures that the three groups made. Group one, it, it's actually a mosaic. It's real ceramic mosaic, and it was made over a period of about twelve weeks. These um, all these mosaics are three by four feet in size. Um, this one is called the Faceless People. The second one is called Unity Journey. It was made by a second group, a women's group. And um, the third one is called Welcome, and it was made by a mixed group in an adult education center. And so each of these independent projects um, became part of the overall Arca Mosaic project. Um, the Arca Mosaic uses a dual methodology. In fact, this is two methods in one a research process for community research and one for academic research. And so the community research is really for people themselves to generate, to document and to communicate their research, their knowledge. And the, um, the communication is to both local and to wider audiences. Uh, this involves local projects, art exhibitions, storytelling, online platform websites, and also film documentaries. Um, the academic aspect of the research then the res it depends on having um, a qualified researcher. And this could be a member of the community or it could be someone who, um, who becomes part of the project in some other way. Um, the research process is pretty much the same as generate, document and communicate. In this case you have de collect data process data, report findings. Collecting the data involved in the Arca Mosaic, uh, filming the, um, the discussions and using the images and the artwork, the poetry and so on, and this is what was used as data. Processing the data used a, re used a research method, which was called interpretative phenomenological analysis, and it's a way of, of researching lived experience and meaning-making processes. In this case, how people make meaning through art and discussion. And finally, reporting the findings is through the usual academic channels, um, communicating the knowledge to academic audiences. Partic particularly, there is um, an action research uh, community um, of, of academics and 
there's a journal called Action Research. Um, peer review is an important part of this academic process and publication and conferences. So in a sense this dual model is a way of 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 creating the knowledge on two levels so to speak and, and and communicating it on different levels so it's really quite um, versatile um, the method used in the action research is participatory action research if you like um, on the ground uses uh, basically a five uh, stage process firstly there's an encoding of the meanings through discussion process, through making artwork and so on. Um, and this is stage one. Uh, the encoding idea comes from Palo Freire, the idea that people can encode meaning in the images. Um, the, t the making of the mosaic continues the um, encoding process. And finally, when at the end, the the mosaic is completed, it's stuck down, it's um, it, it, it's finished off nicely and then the group sit around and they start to decode the mosaic. The idea of decoding comes from art therapy but there are no um, preset meanings in the decoding process. The decoding involves the, the participants looking into the finished images and then finding new meaning and possibly revisiting some of the old meanings and, um, and talking about this and, uh, and so on. Um, Discussion of the experience of the project is part of the evaluation and it's a very important part of, of this research. Um, it can happen either before the exhibiting and celebration or afterwards. Um, this is not fully decided yet, which it should be. Um, and just to finalize, I want to talk about um, a new piece of research based on the Arkham Mosaic model. This is a student of mine who's doing a master's in psychotherapy and he's interested in researching his own disability with a group of participants who um, have the same disability and they're all involved in the same HSE program and they all know each other. The program uses art so it lends itself very well to the Arca Mosaic model and what's involved is it's quite a simple small uh, project um, it involves a one-day event and there are two sessions and in the first session the participants bring their artwork with them from the program and they have a discussion, a, a meaning-making um, discussion uh, discussing their artworks and each individual involving very every single individual has to speak and they have to make sense of their lived experience of their disability using the artwork and so it's a way of them uh, talking about and, and and generating a knowledge about their experience. In this context, they would all be regarded as co-researchers and they would be involved in a co-generation um, of knowledge process. The second uh, session, which happens after a break, possibly a lunch break, um, involves discussing the experience of the program and then the group sit around and they discuss and they make sense of their experience of the program. And this is very important in terms of influencing um, the development of the program and providing feedback from their own perspective of the experience. So that completes the, this presentation. Thank you.